Hello everyone, welcome to another Acumatica quick tip video. Uh, today we're going to be covering adding demo data to an existing system. And this is important if maybe when you're doing your initial installation of Acumatica or um, you're already in the building process and you don't have any access to that demo data, this is a way you can add it to your existing system that's already live that you're building, configuring. Um, this isn't how you would uh, go about adding this in the initial stages when you're creating it. If you are initially uh, installing Acumatica, it does prompt you to do an install uh, to add demo uh, tenants to the system. But uh, for this purpose, we've already had the system. It's already launched. We're just going to uh, restore a snapshot to a new tenant in Acumatica to get it uh, another way if that's uh, you're already past that process. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to go over to Tools and hit About. And even if you're just logging in, the build information will be on the login screen as well. Um, there's two ways to get it. So here we just have to look and see what our build version is. And our build version is 20.106.0005. So this is essentially the exact version of 2020R1. There are multiple versions as you see well, as we jump over to the portal and go to the sales material, demo materials, and create demo environment. Uh, you have to log in to get this information with your Acumatica um, uh, username. And you can see here that uh, we have 2019, 20, it's a 2019, we have R1, R2 in here, 2018, 2017. They cover with a lot of older uh, snapshots, which is really great. Uh, one thing I love about Acumatica is they have a lot of information um, and stuff available, resources for older versions. And you can see here that there is multiple 20, uh, 2020 versions um, that they've been constantly releasing, something that may or may not uh, be aware of. But for this purpose, it's very important when we're restoring this snapshot uh, that we're getting the exact version just to avoid any issues down the road. So like I said, we're 20106005, which is going to be this one right here. We're going to go download this one, just save it to the desktop super quick. And it's not super. Uh, it's only 58 megabytes here, so uh, it shouldn't take up too too much space. And then the next step we're going to do is go back to our install, and this is where we're going to create a new tenant. So we're going to type in tenant. We're going to go to tenants, and then you can see here. Uh, just a little fact is uh, when you are doing an install, there is number one tenant ID is always taken and hidden. Uh, the first uh, tenant that is installed in Acumatica is always number two. So we're going to go ahead and create a new tenant here. So we're going to hit the plus button here. We're going to then name our tenant. So this is going to be called demo. We'll do demo data and then we'll, we can just do demo data test. And then our login name is the, the login that you would see. So we could just do the same thing here. And I would suggest not do, uh, using spaces uh, down the road. Uh, just kind of when if you're ever doing a report designer or you're trying to connect to OData, spaces come out as a percent to zero, I believe, as a space. That's what Acumatica kind of makes the spaces if you're trying to do like a, a link through OData. So with no spaces, it keeps it simple. So you don't have to worry about filling in those spaces with other uh, characters. Uh, now that we've added our login name, we can go ahead and hit save. And Acumatica is actually going to create the new tenant here. And this might take uh, a couple minutes or a couple seconds depending on the speed of and how much uh, is going on in your system. And when you're doing this process, um, if it is a system that is live that you're trying to add demo data to, I highly suggest doing this during off-peak hours um, as this is going to run uh, in the background and it could slow down other processes that if you are doing stuff with financials, it's best to leave that um, kind of for that stuff to be done before you start applying updates and doing these types of actions because it can add load on the system. So now we have our, uh, our tenant created here. Now we have to restore the, restore the snapshot. So right now if we were to open this tenant it's going to be completely blank. So if we actually uh, went over uh, to log in there we, we would be completely empty but for this reason uh, we're just going to keep it simple we're not gonna have to log in I mean if you were log in you'd have to enable it it's, it's a brand new tenant as if you opened it uh, for this purpose we're just gonna import the snapshot you're gonna hit uh, choose file and you're just gonna go to your uh, desktop where the uh, sales demo data is kept and we're gonna uh, choose the package 
we're gonna hit upload and remember make sure this is for the new tenant uh, for whatever reason say it went back to two or three make sure you're double checking and triple checking that you're not restoring this into a, uh, a system with already data in it because this will overwrite everything that you've done so make sure it's that new tenant that we've uh, added so when you import that it's going to take a second to process that um, to make sure that the file is correct and uh, for the system alrighty now that that has uh, successfully been imported uh, we can see here that we have our demo data in, uh, brought in here the creation date was 714 that's just I guess when somebody uploaded that and, and made it um, and you can see here that uh, we have it selected so now that we have it selected we're gonna restore it to this new tenant and you can see here I have done this in the past before uh, but for this demo uh, data test here we're gonna make sure this is still selected and then we're gonna click on this snapshot the newest one that we just imported with the demo data and we're gonna hit restore and this will essentially confirm that what we're doing is we're gonna restore this snapshot into the demo test data tenant 4 this is just confirming to you that all the data will be overwritten to what the snapshot is and we can go ahead and hit OK. Now that that snapshot has been restored to that tenant we can then go ahead and log into there. So the first uh, the login uh, the first login is going to have a uh, generic password. So we're gonna go down here and we can see demo data test we're going to type in admin and then our password is going to be set up. Now that we've logged in with our uh, demo data system you can see here that it's just like what we originally were looking at when I was first restoring the snapshot um, and again that uh, password to login is admin and setup. Uh, and those are the default login uh, credentials for Acumatica and then you can go ahead and change it over to uh, the existing password that you would like to change and for uh, demonstration purposes here you can see that we have everything is already uh, kind of pushed over to the left all the modules are enabled in the demo system system and you're even able to go in and look at the uh, the demo uh, sample data as well if you guys have any questions at all feel free to reach out to my email uh, displaying on the screen jswartz at network.com uh, or uh, my coworker Stuart uh, we would love to help you if you have any questions about installing and adding this demo data or had any questions of video, please comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one.